everyone so today we're in a Ford Transit and I'll show you how to remove the speedometer so the only reason we're pulling it out is because of the tachometer the needles basically fallen this way and it's stuck there so we're going to attempt to fix that so in order to remove the speedometer there's a couple of screws up there so there's one there one there there's another two hidden underneath there and in order to get to those two underneath there we have to open up the steering this plastic trim over here two ways you can do this you can drop the column down by removing the four bolts once I remove all of this I'll show you how to do that so there's three bolts that hold this cover onto the steering column the plastic shroud and you need a t25 torx bit in order to remove it so there's that one that one and one deep in there and then this just separates so you just pull the two apart so with the screwdriver get in there and just pry the part. There's clips there and then there's clips there as well. Once I pull it apart I'll show you what that looks like. So that just comes out like so. And then this top part just pulls up like so. So there's, there's the clips I was referring to. Two at the front there and two at the side there. And this is where the three bolts were. So now looking at it underneath if you wanted to drop the steering column it's just those four lock nuts over there so that's that one that one and two at the bottom there and there and now we have clear access to those screws over there you can get away with pulling it out without dropping the column so i'll do that first and that is the method we're going to be using for this video the main reason you'd want to drop the column is if your screws are rusted in there that's when you'll have to drop it in order to remove it properly you need to replace either one of your stocks so your indicator stock or your wiper stock it's very easy to do so now looking at it from up here so all you need to do is for example I'll just pull this wiper stock out just that tab lift up and just pull out and this will also give you more space and access to those two screws over there so I'll just do it once again so just tab pull and just lift up and just pop it out like so so once you have it removed then it's straightforward just unplug it and then you can replace it or do or do whatever that's necessary um, do note that I've disconnected the battery because we're doing other work on the vehicle if your battery is still connected be very careful of the airbag and this yellow wire underneath here do not damage it in any way shape or form so just be very careful with that so now coming back to this area over here now that we've got that much more room what I like to use is just a small ratchet that gives me that right angle ability to get in there that's a Phillips head screw so these are all the Phillips head screws it's only the torque screws I use for the rest of the vehicle sometimes you'll find that if the vehicle is rusty these screws will be extremely difficult to take out in that case I recommend dropping the column otherwise if you strip one of these screws that's it turns a five minute job into a couple hours worth of work drill it out and yeah, it's not worth it so just keep that in mind as well so as easy as that and I'll go ahead and just remove the rest of it and the two screws up there as well once you're taking out the screws then you just pull this out there'll be clips holding it in place as well and this is probably the tricky part in trying to maneuver it and remove it near the start Once you remove that, then that gives you access to the, the screws. So there's the two at the top there and the two at the side that we need to take out and then this speedometer can be removed. Once you have the screws removed, there's connectors here at the back. Once you have the speedometer out, you just have to take out this connector and then it'll give you access to the other connectors. Once I take it off, I'll show you those. So this was the connector and it's just a push type to release so looking from the back you just push it and pull to release and similarly with this one over here 
just push it and pull to release and if we look at the connectors here that's what they look like so that's how you remove your speedometer on a full transit so thanks for watching everyone i hope this video was of some help to you if it was please like and subscribe see ya